is too early in the day for that. You know what I mean? <laughs> She's just a kid, Jack. You don't even look at that stuff anymore. Well, that's your problem, Miles. As if she'd be interested in guys like us anyway. Well, speak for yourself. I get chicks looking at me all the time. All ages. <laughs> it's not worth it. You pay too big a price, it's never free. You need to get laid. <clears throat> It'd be the best thing for you. You know what? I'm gonna get you laid this weekend. That'll be my best man gift to you. I'm not gonna get you a pen knife or a gift certificate or any of that other horseshit. <laughs> yeah, well, I'd rather have the knife. No, man, no. You've been officially depressed for like two years now. You were always a negative guy, even in college. Now it's worse. You're just wasting away. Teaching fucking English to eighth graders when they should be reading what you wrote. Your books. Hey, man, I'm working on it. Go see in that shrink? Yeah, I went on Monday, but I spent most of the time helping with this computer. Well, I say fuck, dude. And what's that shit you take? Xanax? Next pro, yeah. I say fuck that. You need to get your joint worked on. That's what you need. <laughs> Jack, this week's not about me. It's about you. We're gonna take you out. We're gonna have a great time. We're gonna drink some good wine, play some golf, eat some great food. And send you off in style. And get your bones smooched. Okay, so this is the rosé, right? Yeah, good. It's the rosé, but rather this one's atypically made from 100% Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir? Not again. You know, not all Pinots are Noir. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, here, here, let me show you. First, you take your glass, you hold it up and examine the wine against the light. Here, you're looking for color and clarity. What color is it supposed to be? Depends on the varietal, but just get a sense of it. Is it thick, thin, watery, inky, amber, whatever. Now tip it. What you're doing here is examining the density as it tips towards the edge of the rim. This tells you age among other things, but it's more important with reds usually. This is a pretty young wine, so it's going to retain its density pretty well. Now get your nose in it. Go on, get it in there, don't be shy. What do you smell? I don't know. Wine? Fermented grapes, I guess? Yeah, it's a pretty young wine, so there's not going to be much there yet, but you can still get like a, a little citrus, maybe strawberry, passion fruit, a little asparagus, and like a, a nutty Edam cheese. Maybe some strawberry. Yeah, strawberry. I don't know about the cheese. Well, let's test your, test your glass down. Let's get some air into it. Oxygenating it unlocks the aromas and the flavors. Very important. Now we smell again. That's what you do with every one. When do we drink it? Now. How would you rate that one, Miles? You know, I normally start you on the wines with learning disabilities, but that one's pretty damn good. We work at a wine store. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good one. Are you chewing gum? Yeah, do you want some?